Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to give you a shot of some of the stuff I've been doing this weekend. You can tell I'm a little bit dirty. Been outside all day today, it's Sunday. So uh, let me show you what's been going on. So we had all our tomatoes up here on the deck, and you'll notice there's a bunch missing. I planted a bunch of those out in the yard. So we'll come down here. That's another thing you'll notice today in the videos too, is the uh, large grow tent is pretty much empty. So we can see I planted a bunch of these uh, Montesinos. They're over here. I planted them over here as well as a couple of them back there. I'll show you this garden box. You might hear our neighbor talking. She thinks she's out there on the deck with some of her family. But uh, here's some of the Montesinos. Some there. Those are some pink boars that we had last year. And I chopped and dropped the, uh, the cover crop on this bed around these tomatoes. You can see how big those Montesinos are. I mean, those things are just huge and they're flowering and they've already got fruit set on a bunch of those. And then these beds here, you can see I've still got the plastic on those. These are going to get planted next weekend because we had uh, almost 90 degrees today. So that's going to finish killing off that and dropping that cover crop. And then here's our squash. That's one of the trays from inside the large grow tent. And then we got the rest of them over here. And I had to get them out of the tent because they were getting so big. I mean, look at the squash on this one. Look at that thing. Just hanging out down there. There's one on that one. And this one over here also has one about the same size. So you can see they were they started tipping over and I needed to get them outside. So I gave them a good dose of water. And then we have an automated sprinkler system I put in over the yard, which should keep things wet. But, uh, I mean, you can see that. Look at all the, the blooms. So these are definitely ready to go in the ground. And I can show you over here. I put a few in the ground over here with the, uh, the new the bean hutches. I planted the uh, scarlet runner beans back here in with the peas. So behind this currant bush, you can tell the little berries. This is a red currant. So we got three squash in there. I put two gray grillers and then a, uh, a summer squash, like a uh, success PM. And then back there where the peas are, where they're growing up, I got uh, scarlet runner beans planted in behind them. So then they'll have uh, some growth. You can see our salmon berry. We've got some berries going. And there's one that's back there that's almost gonna be ripe soon. They're back there. We've had these for three years and I've never gotten a salmon berry yet and this is the first year they've actually bloomed and set fruit. So, and here's some more squash. There's another success PM and then two gray grillers. So we're going to have uh, some nice squash in there and then there's also scarlet runner beans there. And up there I also planted the scarlet runner beans along all those bean hutches we have up above. And the last set of tomatoes that I planted were up in these, uh, these were the new boxes that I put in last year over here up on the hillside. That was our stair stepper, uh, stair step garden boxes. So, my face might have got close to the camera there. <laughs> but yeah, so these are the other boxes. These are all the Matt's Wild Cherry Tomatoes all these boxes here and I chopped and dropped the uh, cover crop around them give them some insulation from the uh, splash up when the sprinklers come on oh and that's the birdhouse that's got one uh, nesting pair of black cap chickadees in it lilac bushes are starting to bloom they smell really nice and that one over there is always ahead of this one because it has earlier Sun so it's kind of nice in the backyard here is we'll get the lilac bush over there blooming get the smell off of it by the time it's dying this one takes over so we have like a double long exposure to the smells of the lilacs oh and then these are the wildflowers that I planted there's some wildflowers I put in here you can see they're all germinating as well as the ones over here. 
collector sprouting pretty good. And this is our, the robin had its babies. And I think they already left the first batch. Cause I haven't seen her sitting in the nest. Paula said that a crow came in and got one of them though. So. There were three in there, so I'm assuming two of them got made it. There's our rhododendron. some of our wildflowers. That's all mint. By the way, there's all mint and uh, raspberries in here. That's all chocolate mint, that darker colored mint there. So we take that and dehydrate that and then we save it for winter for teas. And then that's a sea berry there. There's the goji berry, of course. And we also have some aronia berries in here mixed in, raspberries. So that's kind of more of a berry area. there and of course this is a clover patch I chopped and dropped this last week so it's in a regrowth phase looks like it's time for the birds to come out that's one thing I've seen here and I don't see in anybody else's yards is the sheer amount of birds we have because we have all this variance of plants and bushes to where they can hide and they love coming in this yard. This morning I was woke up at 5.30 in the morning by these little guys. <laughs> so if you're going to have a permaculture yard like this, just be prepared to not get any sleep on the weekends. <laughs> Unless you have uh, earplugs in, because it, uh, it gets pretty noisy in our backyard. I think I need to do a video in one of these mornings for you guys to let you guys hear exactly how loud this yard gets. And uh, everything else looks to be going pretty well. So this is just kind of the update from the backyard today. Oh, and then there's the plant propagation bed down there. I won't do a separate video on that. The blueberries seem to be hanging on. And uh, we'll see how many of them I get to make it. All right. Well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Today it was, all, I think it was, an, I think it reached a high 80s. So like almost 90 today here in the Pacific Northwest in the uh, Portland metro area. And then yesterday it was uh, in the 80s, but I didn't do any gardening yesterday. I had to put a new radiator in my, uh, what I call the farm truck, my uh, 2008 Ford. Put a new radiator in it, and uh, that was pretty much it for yesterday. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.